the largest newspaper company in Canada just apologized to Rebel News. Here, let me read it to you. Dear Ezra, on behalf of Post Media, I write to apologize to you, Rebel News, and Kean Bexty for inappropriately using your photo and video without properly crediting the source of the photo, video, or payment, and for removing your logo from the video and replacing it with our logo. That was wrong and we are sorry. I have spoken with the senior editorial team to reiterate it is completely unacceptable to reproduce content from other media without proper acknowledgement. Sincerely, Yusinda Choden, Senior Vice President Editorial. Wow. Post Media owns most of the daily newspapers in Canada, was stealing our Rebel News photos and videos. They just took our work without permission, without payment, then they took unethical steps to hide it. They actually stripped off our Rebel News marks, took our logo off, and put their own company logo on the work to pass it off as if it was their work. We caught them, we demanded they stop, they wouldn't, so we sued them, but that's like a canoe suing a battleship. They're the richest newspaper company in Canada, and they're not even Canadian. I don't know if you know this, but Post Media is owned by a giant New Jersey hedge fund called Chatham Asset Management. It's a vulture fund worth billions of dollars. They could afford to pay their own reporters to do their own work. They don't need to steal ours and put their logo on it. But the idea of a vulture fund is just what it sounds like. Pay as little as possible, ring out as much as possible, get away with whatever you can, never apologize, never explain. That's their mindset. Post media wasn't always this way. You know, I used to work there myself. They were once the closest thing Canada had to a conservative-leaning news company, but that was then, this is now. Today, they're the number one recipient of Trudeau's bailout money. Did you know that? They take $140,000 a week from Trudeau, and it shows. And like Trudeau, they're just as arrogant as they are rich. For two years, Post Media refused to pay us for what they stole. They refused to even acknowledge that they stole it. They actually claimed that they had the right to use our work the way they did. But this morning, two years after the fact, they finally admitted everything. What made them change their mind? Well, we finally got to court this morning. We had a special court mediation in front of Deputy Judge Carla Bocci. Post Media brought out all their big guns, a senior in-house lawyer, a senior hired lawyer, their senior VP editorial, three big guns to fight against little old us. But they blinked. Doesn't happen often, but it happens. Even the billionaire bullies sometimes admit they're wrong. Read their apology for yourself. They were inappropriate. They were wrong. What they did was completely unacceptable. So why did they apologize? Only they know for sure, and I can't tell you some of the things that happened at the mediation, they're confidential, but I think I know what it was in my heart. I think it was that someone finally stood up to them. I think that's what it was. Look, we're just a small news company run by citizen journalists. Normally people like us get run over by billionaires like Trudeau's Post Media. They certainly did everything they could to delay today's court date. They stretched it out for two years. But when I made it clear to them that we weren't going to back down, they did. There's a lesson here to all the Davids out there. Keep fighting. Goliath looks mean, but if you show courage, you can sometimes win. And even get Goliath to apologize to you. You know, it's funny. Post media mocks our journalism all the time. They hate Rebel News but they were secretly stealing it. Makes you think. Well, we're the little guy, but sometimes we have big wins. It was nice to see Post Media do the right thing once they exhausted all their other options. If you want to help us, please go to rebelnews.com. Sign up for our emails, and if you can, chip in a few bucks. Post Media just takes your money through Trudeau's bailout. We actually ask for it.